you guys doing today? I got kind of a cool video for all of uh, you guys out there. This one is going to be about Botox and dye sport. See, I'm on camera all the time and I'm on TV and I get to see all these wrinkles. Now, it's been about eight months since um, I've had it done, so all these wrinkles are back. And I got to tell you, you're supposed to do it every five or six months, but I wanted to wait eight months until all these were back. When I see myself editing on the camera, I see all this. So what I'm going to do for you today is I'm going to take a couple photos of before, and then we're going to wait 10 days after and show you the difference of what this Botox or dye sport does. It is amazing. If you uh, have all kinds of wrinkles and are getting a little older, I call it, you know, the uh, man tune-up. Let's go get this done. So I was just thinking, before I go and um, have all these uh, wrinkles taken out, um, the way it works is they're gonna do a bunch of injections on all my forehead and where these lines are. So I wanna take a good photo in controlled lighting because it takes about, I'm gonna say six to 10 days for this stuff to work. So I'm gonna take some before photos with a high res camera. Take a look right now. You'll see the before photos and then six or seven days, when these are all gone, I'll take some after photos. It's incredible. Okay, so I'm, hitting, I'm sitting here in Gresham at Dr. Hansel's office and um, he's preparing the dye sport right now. Um, the difference, what's the difference between Botox and dye sport? So Botox is uh, manufactured by a pharmaceutical company called Allergan. And it, it's Botox Cosmetic. Here. Hello. <laughs> hey, it's, I'm going to turn the camera just a little bit. Okay, uh, here we go. It's uh, called Botox Cosmetic. It's been around the longest. Most people know Botox from uh, Botox Cosmetic. The latest FDA approved product is Dysport. It's manufactured. Dysport, I say it Dysport. wrong. Dysport, not It's manufactured by McKeeson. And uh, it was FDA approved around April of 2014. Is it so? Is it, similar. is it better? I think it's better. Okay. Uh, and most of my clients think it's better. It uh, has a quicker onset. So, Botox Cosmetic generally kicks in around seven to eight days for its fullest effect after the treatment. Okay. Uh, Dysport about three to five days. Um, how much is each treatment av average? On average, we generally charge per area. So areas would be. I've got a little chart here. Areas would be, this would be the glabellar area, uh -huh. um, and this would be the forehead. The forehead would be another area, uh, and another common area would be the sides of the... By the so what do you think, what's the, 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 aver the average first person that comes in? So the average first person is how much? Uh, if they, they're doing one area, it's $180. There you go. So 180 bucks to fix one area. Um, to me, it's awesome. And how long do you have to... Uh, re-up. Usually it, it usually lasts uh, anywhere from three to four months. With repeated use, every three to four months it tends to last a little bit longer and longer. So like I told you before, I waited eight or nine months and all the wrinkles came back because I wanted to make this for you to show you the dramatic before and after. So uh, we're going to do this right now. You're going to see how this happens and then I'm going to wait six or eight days and then I'm going to show you exactly what happens with all this stuff. Okay, so before we get started, he was going to give me a list of things. You know, if you don't come see Dr. Hansel here in Gresham, wherever you're at around the world or around the country, there's a couple things that you want to ask the person that is doing this for you. So what do we got? So number one, you want to ask where they purchase their product. Uh, is it FDA approved? Okay, a lot of clinics if the price is too good to be true, they're probably getting their product outside the country. That's, okay. that's illegal for practitioners to do. A lot of practitioners do do that. You want to make sure that it's FDA approved and that it would be covered by malpractice in that, that okay. respect. Uh, how fresh is it? When was it mixed up? Because it has a shelf life. Uh, you want to make sure that it's been recently hydrated and it's a potent product. Now, uh, would, they, would it say it, of course I, of course I trust him, but would, would it say it on the bottle? The bottle has uh, extended expiration date. It's once it's hydrated, which means the, the, the fluid or the saline's been put into a dry product, and now it's uh, ready to uh, be taken up into the syringe and then Got it. apply it. So you don't want something that has been hydrated before and sitting. First several days, yeah. You want something within the first um, one to two days. So you want to ask 
the doctor when was this hydrated, right? right. That's okay. Great. And then, you know, just have them be honest with you, you know, make sure that they're giving you the amount of units and the Botox and Dysport, it's measured in units. Okay. Uh, make sure they're giving you the units that you're paying for. So how many units are you going to do? I'm, I, I'm going to have at least two areas done today. So how many units would that take? That would be 90 units. So per area, it's about 45 units. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to have 90 units done. Here we go. So the first thing we do, I think, is numb it, right? Well, we're not numb yet, but oh, what we okay. are going to do is clean off the surface of the, of the skin. There can be bacteria on the surface of the skin, and when we're piercing the skin, we don't want to be pushing bacteria underneath okay. the skin. So we're going to clean off the skin, and we're going to clean these areas off twice. So here's the first, first clean. We're going to do that one more time. Okay. So we're going to get some and I already took a photo at home of uh, all these lines. And the photo that I took at home, we're going to use the same lighting and everything so you can see it before and after exactly. Okay, so one more time, we're just going to clean off the skin. Good. And there we have it. Now I have a lot of people when they when they say, "Oh, Blaine, you do the Botox slash D it's D Sport, Dice Sport. What is yeah. D Sport?" They ask me, "Does it hurt?" Now it doesn't hurt, but it's weird. You hear this little that little crunching, you know, of the of the needle going through the skin, and it's just a little pinch. Yeah, just a little sting. Yeah. Uh, the first time it's kind of a little shock to the system. After that, it's pretty. pretty yeah, you get used to it. You go, oh, okay. So we're going to go ahead. And we're going to treat that glabellar area, which is between the eyebrows. I'm going to have uh, Bling squint and relax. And four injections. One. See, that's two. two next to nothing. Three. And four. And it's weird. You hear it more than you. You hear it more than you feel it. It's like a little crunching. Right. And what I'm going to have you do is one more time. Give me that little squinch down and relax. One, two, and three. Okay, good. So that's the glabellar area. See, now that last one hurt a little bit. Yeah. And it really depends on how close that needle is to the different types of nerve fibers in the skin. We have fibers that deal with pain. That's what he felt, uh, cold, heat, Got pressure. It. So we got a little close to one of those pain fibers. Okay, so that was the first little round. Now it's round two. So now we're going to go ahead and treat the, the forehead muscle, okay. or the frontalis. And I'm going to have you lift your eyebrows up this time and relax. We're going to do five injections. One, two, three, four, and one more. Five. We're going to stop. Okay. Just kind of rub that in a little bit. You can see he's bleeding a little bit. That bleeding will stop in a few minutes. And the swelling and redness that you see is usually usually throughout the five yeah, it's usually throughout the day and the next day. Yeah, you, you have some marks up here. <laughs> it's just the way it is. Okay, and one more time, raise those eyebrows up and relax. So we're just kind of distributing the product throughout the full muscle on the forehead. And one more time up, relax. One, right there. Two. Last one right here. Okay, we're done. Got a little bit of a leak there, so we'll just put a pressure on there for a moment or two and get that under control. So that's it. That's how fast it is. Good. Okay. And like I said before, it's kind of a kind of a male maintenance program, you know. I mean, of course females do it, but for me, you know, people go, oh, why would you go, why would you go get Botox or or this sport? Why would you get it? Well, I, to me, you know, I'm on camera all the time, and it lifts everything up in about seven to ten days. You'll see the huge difference, and to me, it's a maintenance program. If you continue to do it, like I waited too long this time because I wanted to show you the dramatic effects. So what it is is a maintenance program so that it keeps these wrinkles from getting worse, as you'll see in the before and after. Is there anything else? That's it. All right. Okay. There you have it. It's been five days since I had the disport done. And throughout the video, I was just editing the video, and I saw that I said seven to 10 days. That's the advantage of this stuff over Botox, is it acts faster. So it's been five days, and it has already happened. It is crazy. Let's take a look at this. All the lines on my forehead are gone. So what it feels like is it feels like that everything is tightened up. Um, the lines and my forehead feel like everything is lifted. Uh, what's kind of crazy is when you try and wrinkle or put your eyebrows up, the lines aren't there. This is awesome. 
So um, this is gonna last for four months, five months, six months. I'm not gonna wait eight months like I did. I want it to continue and stay like this so I don't get any more lines. This is awesome. Now, take a look at the photos. I took photos of before and after. Take a look. Aren't those pictures crazy? What a difference. I'm gonna be using this stuff all the time. Now, before I close up, if you ever need anything, his name's Dr. John Hansel. He's at Gresham Urgent Care in downtown Gresham. I'm gonna put up the phone number here and his location in just a minute. Are you ready for this? He's a doctor, a chiropractor, and does all the cosmetic stuff. I've been using him for years. Oh, I almost forgot. While I was making this, Dr. Hansel said, hey, why don't you give $50 off to all your people. Just tell them that if they watch this video and they mention the video to Dr. Hansel when you call for your appointment, you'll get $50 off on your first deal of the dice board. Isn't that awesome? Hey, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be making all kinds of helpful videos. You've got to subscribe so we can stay in touch. Have a great day.